Hi, my name is Mike Sparrow. As you can tell um, by my white hair, I go back a few years. Yeah, that's true. Have you ever had one of those days when you've tried to make a video and nothing seemed to go right? That's pretty much, I think this is about take 15 on this, and all I want to do is introduce a gentleman by the name of Charlie Tremendous Jones to you. Charlie is uh, no longer with us today, but Charlie was um, a mentor and um, to many of the business people in, in the United States as well as to me. And uh, we remember him for all the things that he did. He was friends with Zig Ziglar and Larry Wilson and uh, Dennis Waitley and um, Gittimer today and all the rest of the motivators. Um, mentioned Charlie when they talked about who influenced their careers. They were becoming uh, motivational speakers. Charlie dropped out of school when he was in grade school, uh, worked to help the family survive through the years of uh, the Depression. And uh, later on, because of the way he read and learned, um, Charlie became a million dollar round table insurance rep and eventually the president of the insurance company. He left that company and went on the road as a motivational speaker. Um, took his kids with him everywhere he went a tremendous father, a tremendous motivator, and just a tremendous guy. Never saw him when he had a bad day. He was always glad to see people. Greeted men with a hug, women with a kiss on the hand. Charlie was a great guy. And my motive for being here today to just talk to you is to introduce him to you and to leave a video attached to this so you can get to know him. I know many of you that watch this video are looking for material for um, your blogs and for your and for your fan pages. Charlie is a great guy. You'll find him on YouTube, Charlie Tremendous Jones. Um, watch him and see if he hasn't got some stuff that you can learn from. Great sense of humor, great guy. Wish you the best, be prosperous, and God bless. Have you ever been giving a talk to someone, giving a little lecture at one of the high schools, are talking to one-on-one -on -one in sales, have you ever been talking to somebody, giving them your best stuff, and you're so excited, you're about to leap out of your shoes, and there they sit. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? Right. Well, then you haven't spoken much. <laughs> but it's happened to you, I can see it, yes. But now, people have fallen asleep while you've talked, haven't they? Yeah. But don't feel bad, because they used to fall asleep when I talked too but never on the front row, <laughs> but really. But I used to wonder, I would be so excited, I would be so excited, I'd about to leap out of my shoes, and, and I would see them sleep, and I would say to myself, why are these thumb suckers sleeping? Now, did you notice? I didn't ask my boss how to get people to listen. I didn't ask someone which book to recommend to me to read on how to get people to listen. One of the greatest techniques you'll ever work on in communication is while you're in the center of a problem, rather than waiting till later to find out how to solve it, ask yourself while you're working on people, why is this? Why aren't they listening? Now you see, that's important because you see, you can ask him how he does it. And you can ask him how he does it. You can ask her, and that's good. But don't ever ask him why he's doing it. Because you see, you got your own why. And if he gives you his why, it won't do you any good because you have your own why. You ask you why and ask him how. You ask him how and you why. Don't even ask your wife why she married you. She may be asking herself the same question. <laughs> now, okay, so, so, I am, I am always saying, why aren't these thumb suckers listening? And I came up with an answer for me. Now, I didn't come up with an answer for you. You get your own answers. Because if an answer is a good answer, it's something you think through that's yours. You can listen to me tonight, but what matters is you. Now, here's my answer for me. People weren't listening because I had a bad habit of talking to people's ears. Now, everybody knows you hear with your ears, but you see with your eyes. And since I'd only been talking to his ears, his eyes decided they had nothing to do, so go close a while. <laughs> now, you're laughing, and that's a good point. That, that means when you laugh, that meant you saw what I said. And if you're going to communicate, you better be learning to go to the heart and not the head. I'll tell you why. You know, Jesus did this. 
with his disciples, but Jesus called it parables. I don't have that word, but I'm just saying illustrations. So the point is that I want to share with you is how to use illustrations and stories to help them see what you're saying. In other words, whenever I think with you, you watch. First, I'll go to your ear with a point. Then I'll go to your heart with a story, an illustration. I'll help you see with your heart what you heard with your ears. Then I'll wait for your eyes to light up and say, I see what you mean. <laughs> and when I see that, I'll rush back to your ear again. <laughs> and then the heart. Now, now. Now watch, now watch, now, now, now let me illustrate the point. See that, how smooth that was? Now, two hard hats, there's uh, two hard hats every day sit down to eat your lunch. You know, car uh, carpenters. And one day these two carpenters sat down to eat your lunch. The one fellow opened up his lunch and started eating his sandwiches. The other fellow opened up his lunch and lo and behold, peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter sandwiches. Every day peanut butter sandwiches. And one day, he couldn't take it anymore. He says, oh no, not peanut butter sandwiches again. I hate peanut butter sandwiches. Oh no, not this again. Well, <laughs> his buddy couldn't take it anymore. He says, Joe, if you hate peanut butter sandwiches so much, why don't you tell your wife you don't like peanut butter sandwiches? He said, you leave my wife out of this. I packed my own lunch. <laughs> now, now, now you see, Have a good laugh, sir. That won't be near as funny tomorrow when you're back in your office eating more of your peanut butter sandwiches.